In this video, I'm going to tell you what visualization is, what it does to our body and brain chemistry, how it can be used for manifesting things and how to become good at it. Hey, welcome to my channel. My name is Kinga. I started making YouTube videos right after my divorce to document for myself and my closest friends how I am reinventing myself and my whole life. If you're not a friend, but you still found this video, take it as a sign from the universe, like it and subscribe. My biggest tool, or help on this journey was a combination of meditating and visualizing in order to manifest whatever I needed and wanted. I created meditations for myself and I also started to share some of them with, with the public on my YouTube channel and it soon became something I now do for a living. I create custom-made guided meditations for those who have a very specific desire that they want to manifest. Go check out my website if you want to know more about me and my services, kingakramer.com, link in the description. Now that my channel got a little bit bigger, I now have the possibility to post my thoughts and pictures and quizzes apart from videos on YouTube. And I wrote this uh, question a couple, of uh, a couple of days ago. A couple of years? What am I talking about? <laughs> a couple of days ago. Do you think you are good at visualizing? Majority of people said that they struggle with it at times. And a lot of people also said that they don't even understand the concept of visualizing or how to do it. And that kind of shocked me because I honestly thought that it was an easy and obvious act for everyone, like something natural. But I'm glad I found out that it's not, so we can fix it. In this video I'm going to tell you what visualization is, what it does to our body and brain chemistry, how it can be used for manifesting things and how to become good at it. I will even show you a simple exercise, so even if you never succeeded in visualizing or you have no idea how to do it, I guarantee that this will be a game changer for you. So stay tuned, like, share and subscribe, because it's free to do so and it helps me grow my channel. And hopefully it helps those who are watching this video. To visualize something means to see or form a mental image of that something. Visualization is a mental rehearsal of pictures or scenes in your mind. It involves using your imagination to create and manipulate images and stories, often with the goal of achieving a certain outcome or a result. I actually heard and read somewhere that the brain has a hard time distinguishing between between uh, real experiences and imagined ones. So when you visualize something, your brain activates many of the same neural pathways as it would if you were actually experiencing the thing you are imagining. And this is because the brain processes visualizations in much the same way as it processes actual sensory input. For example, if you visualize lifting a heavy weight, the motor neurons in your brain that control your muscles will fire as if you are actually lifting weight. Similarly, if you visualize a particular scene or event, the brain's visual and sensory centers will be activated as if you are actually seeing and experiencing the scene. So by visualizing something repeatedly, you can actually create new neural pathways in the brain and change the way it functions. This phenomenon is known as neuroplasticity, and it means that the brain is highly adaptable and can reorganize itself based on new experiences and input. So in a way, the brain doesn't necessarily know whether you are remembering something from the past or living in the present or just imagining something in the future. Instead, it processes all of these experiences in a similar way and adapts accordingly. Visualization also has an effect on hormones and other chemicals in the body. When you visualize something scary, your body's stress response is activated, which can lead to uh, the release of stress hormones, such as cortisol. However, visualization can also have a calming effect on the body if you visualize something that you like and that could help you to reduce anxiety and promote relaxation. Visualization has been shown to stimulate the production of endorphins, which are chemicals that are released in response to pain or stress and have a natural pain relieving effect. It has also been shown to increase the production of oxytocin, a hormone that is associated with the feelings of love and attachment. 
In addition to these hormones, visualization has been shown to have an effect on other chemicals in the body. For example, it has been shown to increase uh, the production of melatonin, you know, the hormone that helps to regulate sleep, and to decrease the production of adrenaline, which is a hormone that's involved in the body's fight or flight response. So overall, the effect of visualization uh, on hormones and other chemicals in the body can vary depending on the specific visualization technique being used or the scene that you're imagining and the individual's state of mind or feeling towards that particular scene. Either or, it has the potential to have a powerful impact on your body's physical and emotional well-being. Visualization is often used in sport training as a way to improve performance and increase the chances of success. It can be particularly effective uh, for athletes who are preparing for a competition or trying to reach a specific goal. They do this mental rehearsal kind of thing, visualizing you know, themselves performing a specific task or skill, such as hitting a baseball or executing a perfect dive. And by rehearsing the task in their mind, athletes can improve their technique and increase their confidence. Or for example, a runner might visualize crossing the finish line in a new personal record time. Or someone like an athlete who's recovering from an injury might visualize themselves performing at their best despite the injury. Visualization can also be used by basically anyone, you know, not just athletes, as a tool for goal setting and manifestation. By vividly imagining yourself achieving a specific goal, you can actually help to create a roadmap for how to get there and it can even start to bring that goal into your reality through the power of your thoughts. But just the power of your thoughts is not enough because the key is visualizing your goal to a point where you feel like it is already your reality. So it generates the same chemical reactions in your brain and, and body and that overrides your whole reality if you're consistent, of course. So the key is feel your way into it. How to do it? Well, I like to set the scene, uh, like candles, sands, essential oils, music with headphones on, and then I close my eyes with or without a guided meditation, doesn't matter. And then I bring up images, you know, like I see it with my mind's eyes. It's important to let go of any distracting thoughts and fully immerse yourself in the story, like if it was your current reality, your present moment. The key is to try to involve all five senses of sight, smell, touch, taste, and hearing. So for example, when I make a custom-made guided meditation for someone who wants to manifest uh, their dream home, for example, I walk them through every room, you know, like feeling the floor and carpet as if they were actually walking on it barefoot. And I help them sense the temperature with their feet and their skin. And we even uh, imagine the smell of uh, freshly baked cookies in the kitchen or like touching the walls, you know, like sensing something with their hands. But of course, all this in their, in their head, in their mind. I myself don't have a hard time doing this because I spent my whole childhood like this, you know. And even now as an introverted adult, I, I spend most of my time in my head. I like to I like to describe this whole experience to people like it's like reading a good book, you know, and all of a sudden you find yourself in the story and you, you see it, feel it happening in, in front of you or with you while you're reading. If you still have no idea how to do it or, or you have difficulties, then watch my video on The Wandering Mind. Uh, I'm going to link it in the description, where I give some practical tips on how I meditate and what exercise I created to relax my body, but still activate my mind for a more vivid visualization. It can also be helpful to start small, you know, and just build up gradually. Here's a simple exercise for you to start with. Get a box of matches. Mine is called Corona, because it's from Hungary. It means crown. Take out a single matchstick, light it, and just watch it burn. And blow it or just let it get extinguished by itself. And then close your eyes and just imagine the little flame you just saw on your matchstick. Just recall the sight of it. Congratulations, you just completed your visualization task number one. Now grab a real fruit like lemon or lime or an orange, like any kind of citrus. I have it right here. And just, just play with it. Feel the weight of it in your hand. You can smell it. 
just you know throw it from one hand to the other just play with it for a while and then cut it up I have a slice right here and then take a bite did you notice that you while you were actually watching me take a bite um, your mouth started to produce more saliva it's because you imagined yourself taking a bite this is also kind of like visualizing what you could also do is not take any real fruit in your hand but just imagine that you're doing the same thing i just did just imagine it and just imagine cutting it up and imagine bringing a slice of any kind of citrus close to your mouth and your mouth is going to start watering immediately congratulations again that is how it is with visualization your body starts reacting from the thought of it you know without having to actually do it so after you've done my matchstick exercise and then the citrus exercise you are ready to practice with something more complex but just practice every day you know and and try to like gradually build up the complexity of the scene that you are imagining but it shouldn't be any harder than just remembering a past event you know like recall a nice memory or a birthday or your wedding or the birth of your child or anything that made you feel intense emotions recall the whole scene every detail and be patient with yourself it may take you some time you know to to get the hang of it but you're gonna get there let me know in the comment section how it went. Like, share and subscribe because it costs you nothing and it helps me grow this channel. Don't forget that I am now also offering one-on-one -on -one virtual meetings or consultations, which you can now book at a half price for a limited time on my website, link below. Uh, if you want to talk to me, meet me virtually, ask me questions, get guidance on something, or even if you want your own custom-made guided meditations, don't hesitate to reach out. Hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.